This is where global emissions are today. And this is where global emissions need to get to by 2050 to stop what scientists say will be catastrophic climate change. And this space here is what's called the emissions gap. Closing it might sound simple enough, but time is running out and the blame game is already well underway. The Paris Agreement is our best hope of stopping the planet from dangerous global warming, but it's just a first step. Nearly 200 nations pledged to limit temperatures from rising above 2 degrees Celsius, or if possible, 1.5 degrees. And those countries are going to be debating about who should do what for many years to come. Here's the problem. Each set their own plans and together aren't doing enough to cut greenhouse gases in time. Emissions fell dramatically in the pandemic, but carbon dioxide lingers in the atmosphere for hundreds of years. So a temporary drop won't make much difference to the overall trend. Scientists say the world needs to reach net zero emissions by 2050. Some nations like Bhutan have already met their goal decades early, but others are dragging their heels, particularly those whose economies rely on oil and gas, such as Russia and Saudi Arabia. Then there are the developing nations like Indonesia and Bangladesh, who say they can only consider tougher emissions targets if rich countries deliver on their promise to raise more money to help them. There is a lot of disagreement over who is to blame for all the emissions in the atmosphere and how some countries already got rich from polluting. China was responsible for just this portion of emissions in the past, but today it's the world's largest polluter. So they agreed. Each country would come up with their own voluntary plan about what they thought they could realistically do. These plans are called nationally determined contributions. They aren't enforced and there are no penalties for failing to meet them. Right now, countries have targets for 2030 and have agreed to meet every few years to make sure they are on track and raise their ambition. But as of now, emissions are still too high and according to the United Nations, we're heading towards a three degree rise this century.